everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com, back again with another massive news update after a very eventful edition of SmackDown Live, which saw, of course, the big WWE Championship change, AJ Styles losing to Daniel Bryan, who turned heel he did, kicking him right in his private area. We have news about the reasons behind that and how long this plan was in the works and whether or not it was a response to the whole Becky Lynch thing on Monday Night Raw. We're also going to talk about that a little bit because there's been a few little updates on social media from Becky Lynch and Nia Jax regarding that punch to the face that, you know, sadly did concuss Becky Lynch reportedly. So she's missing out on the Survivor Series match and that's very sad. But of course, we now know that Charlotte Flair is going to replace her. Let's get on with it and let's take a look at all of the news. Now, according to Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, apparently the decision to make the title change was actually decided last weekend, where for whatever reason, Vince McMahon decided that he'd rather have Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar than AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. According to PW Insider, this was apparently to protect AJ. They didn't want AJ to lose to Brock again because of course last year at Survivor Series the exact same thing happened. I don't know really how much I believe or buy into this reasoning if indeed it is true because I don't know how much you really are protecting AJ Styles by having him drop the title on Smackdown rather than you know taking a non-title loss to Brock Lesnar even if it is for the second consecutive year in a row. But back to the Wrestling Observer Radio where Meltzer said that apparently yes this decision was made sometime last weekend but the decision to turn Daniel Bryan heel was actually from the mind of Daniel Bryan himself. Apparently he's been pushing for this heel turn for a little while now and it's only sort of in the past few days that Vince changed his mind and went yep let's go for it let's turn you heel right now in fact it's kind of suggested from Melter's wording although it's a little bit unclear that the heel turn decision was made at a separate time to the title change decision so they decided to make the title switch sometime over the weekend but then just before Smackdown on Tuesday they decided to go for it and turn Daniel Bryan heel the thinking is online reportedly that apparently Vince decided right let's just have all of our things on one show to give it the biggest impact prior to Survivor Series. So you've got the whole Becky Lynch having to pull out announcement, Charlotte has a replacement, Daniel Bryan winning the title, and also Daniel Bryan turning heel, all on the same show. And to be fair to him, it did have a big impact indeed. I've been so very busy. We all have here at Coldaholic and just want to go to bed. Now, of course, the reason that Becky Lynch can't wrestle is because she suffered a broken nose and a reported concussion as well after Nia Jax hit her in the face during that brawl on Monday Night Raw. This has sparked a whole load of debates, some of it quite nasty and salacious online regarding Nia Jax's safety as a worker. Some people are suggesting, like Brian Alvarez, that she maybe have to go down to developmental again to sort of relearn the fundamentals. Other people are saying, you know what, this is wrestling, these sort of things just happen, especially Ryback. He was very vocally in defense of Nia Jax online. Um, Nia has spoken now on Twitter about the event. It looks as though she's just going to go full heel with this. That's the direction they're going in. They're going to use it to really get a lot of heat on Nia Jax. But legitimate heat in terms of like, it all works with the storyline rather than actual backstage heat. Few reports as well that there is actual backstage heat on Nia Jax, particularly from the Smackdown side of things. Nia's tweet reads, we don't deliver mail, things happen. Is anyone going to ask how my fist feels? With a picture as well of her bruised fist from hitting Becky Lynch in the face. But the SmackDown Women's Champion was quick to respond on Twitter, quote retweeting it and saying, you gave me your best sucker punch, but I got back up to destroy your whole roster. They won't let me fight, but I'll get back up from that too. It's what I do. So enjoy your one free shot because as bad as my memory is now, I haven't forgotten you, bitch. <gasps> So it seems that for better or worse, they are going to turn this kind of messy situation into an angle, which I guess is what happens in wrestling quite a lot. Um, when things like this tend to happen, accidental things that weren't part of the plan, often the best thing that a promotion can do is run with it and turn it into part of a storyline. Again, though, in this specific instance, there is the other side of the argument that says that Nia is unsafe. She's had a history of, my, you know, hurting her opponents or coming close to injuring them, or in some cases, like this one, actually injuring them, and maybe she needs to step back and improve her in-ring skills. I'm not going to chime in on that because whenever I mention it on Twitter, everyone piles in and it always gets a little bit nasty and personal against Nia. And I think if we are going to critique her and it, you know, her, her actions on Raw do deserve to be critiqued, I feel like you have to sort of do it in a non-personal way. And on Twitter, everyone loves to get personal, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this quick news update. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to, at Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic and check out our Patreon as well if you wish. Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic is where you can find that. And never forget, of course, if you haven't already, to hit subscribe and to join us.